Hello, my name is Julie Williams. I'm a registered migration agent with Migration Down Under. Refusals, devastating. End of the world, not necessarily. Um, look, I empathise with you, I certainly understand. Um, it's a completely sinking feeling. You think you've done everything correctly, you've lodged a visa, you're excited about getting the grant, and then all of a sudden you've got a refusal and you don't know why. Um, it could be a simple thing. Maybe you've just forgotten to attach something. Maybe you've just misinterpreted the whole requirement for that type of visa. Um, but usually, um, more than often, there is an opportunity to appeal that. Um, obviously, that's going to delay um, the grant of your visa and that's going to um, cost you more money um, as far as um, the appeal process is concerned. But with the appeal, with the Administrative Appeal Tribunal, if you do win your appeal, you will get 50% of your fees back. Um, so it's certainly worth it, especially if it's, you know, you're looking at your future in Australia and you're set at um, wanting to remain here in Australia, especially if it's been a permanent residency application that's been refused, or perhaps it's a temporary visa that was a stepping stone into your pathway, uh, a future pathway for permanent residency. Now, um, you know, dependent on the refusal um, and dependent on the reason, um, then there's often a way that it can be overcome. And it's something that uh, we deal with quite um, on a regular basis. And whilst it's daunting for yourself, we're, we're here to be able to help you and um, talk through that process. It is, uh, you do have to do it within a set um, time frame. And again, it depends on the type of refusal as to when um, the um, appeal must be lodged. As long as you've filled out your form and paid your money within a certain time, then you can provide all the other documentation at a later date. Obviously, the more that you've got there, the better it is, um, so that you're prepared for when you do have, um, have a hearing. Sometimes it might be a simple refusal, and if it's a really cut and uh, black and white um, refusal and it's really obvious, maybe you've forgotten something as simple as um, providing your uh, police clearance or completing your medical and then you've done it. Um, and then the appeal can overturn that decision without the need for a hearing. Are they going to make a negative decision without a hearing? Absolutely not. That's the whole idea of having an appeal is being able to have your say. And sometimes it's better because you get to see a human being, you get to sit across um, the table from a human being and be able to present your case. So much easier and better often than just um, a case officer that's looking at a document and form. Um, so the, um, the appeal process is there for you to be able to express your case. Um, we as a registered migration agent attend and can assist um, and help, have helped a number of people um, successfully, I'd like to say, um, achieve their goal. And, um, and then the hearing, uh, once that's done, and if they do remit the decision, which means they um, return it back to the department to be reassessed and, um, and then the visa be granted. So whilst it's, um, it's heartbreaking, it's, um, it's nerve wracking, your whole world has been turned upside down, there is a, an ability to turn that back around, dependent on the nature of the decision. Um, if you do have an inquiry um, regarding your refusal, don't waste any time because there's a time limit of when you must appeal. So do contact us straight away and do send us a copy of the decision record because that will be able to give us um, advice almost immediately as to whether you have options to be able to appeal it or whether it would be a fruitless exercise. In other words, you know, there's no point in doing it because you've missed um, critical time of application requirements that it's not going to be possible to overturn um, in an appeal. So, you know, uh, getting in contact with us can save you money in the long run and get you the outcome that you wanted um, right from the beginning. So do give us a call, 94, sorry, 02-9419-5411 and email through your decision record to info at migrationdownunder.com. We're here to help you.